an interesting case from the emergency room. This is a patient who presents with right lower quadrant pain. Uh, a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis performed with oral and intravenous contrast. And as we scroll through, we start to see an inflammatory process in the right iliac fossa, uh, actually in the right flank. Uh, this is associated with the tip of the cecum. And there is a dense calcification at the base of the cecum. And then this short tubular structure with another calcification at its tip. And there's a fair amount of fat stranding in the region. Uh, so the appearance is uh, extremely suggestive of an acute appendicitis, which is in fact what this was thought to be, except that a conversation with the surgeon revealed that this patient had already undergone an appendectomy one year before. So this is a very interesting and unusual condition that is stump appendicitis. Uh, in this condition, the appendiceal stump that is residual after the appendectomy becomes inflamed. Uh, it's not very common, but it is important to recognize this when it does happen to prevent rupture and uh, peritonitis. Uh, so the, the clues for stump appendicitis are, of course, the fact that the appendix looks extremely short in length. But uh, And we can see here on the reformat that the appendix is actually quite a short appendix. The cecum is high up in the right flank, which is why the uh, appendix is, is high in location. But um, the appendiculate that is residual at the base of the appendix has caused recurrent inflammation of the appendix, and there's a second appendiculate at the appendiceal tip. So we can see that the length of the appendix is extremely short, which indicates that it is merely a stump and corroborates the history that the patient has already undergone an appendectomy. So, Example of stump appendicitis on CT. Thank you.